Yo, what's going on, man? It's been a couple days. Bobby, where the fuck have you been? <laughs> hey, I, I missed you too. I know that's men's way of showing love. It's not like, hey, man, I missed you. It's, hey, where's your bitch ass been, motherfucker? <laughs> that's, that's male love right there. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, uh. I've been around, man. I've been busy working and uh, and offloading some stuff. Actually, I just shipped something out today to uh, to to my homie MH who picked up that five uh, OT from me. I got that out to you. Uh, I felt a little bad because he paid for it. He sent me the money yesterday, and I didn't ship it out till this morning. And I like to send my stuff out like right away because and get people a tracking number right away because um, when I buy something, I want my shit. I want my shit immediately. I just ordered the, uh, I just ordered the, uh, PB3 red dot from lead and steel. I just ordered that. I don't have it to show to you. And, uh, I'm looking forward to getting that one. Cause I'm going to take this, uh, I'm going to take this CNH duty dot off of this, even though I love it. I like it. I like it a lot. But I wanted to try, I, I saw that one and I wanted to give it a try. Um, this one's, I mean, I've only taken this one to the range once and it was just fine. It ran just fine. Um, I like it, you know, it's it's ugly and that's what I like about it. Uh, <laughs> but it, it ran great. So I'm going to try and I've actually, I've been tempted. I've been tempted lately to get that damn Aimpoint Acro P2. But then I saw I saw a commercial. I've been watching a bunch of videos. This is how it goes with me. I see I see an ad. I watch a bunch of videos. I get it all in my bloodstream, and then I go buy it. The thing that's stopping me is that the Aimpoint Acro is five ninety nine, six hundred dollars. So you do your tax on it. The tax on it, tax and all that stuff is probably going to be another fifty. That's six fifty, and the shipping probably going to be like ten, maybe twenty. So we're talking about seven hundred dollars per adopted. Damn, I don't know. I don't know about that. But if I was only gonna have one gun or two handguns, I would. I would. I would. Might. I. I don't know. I'd be. I'd be interested. But I'm gonna try the PB3. It was four hundred dollars. Uh, like a dumbass, like a complete dumbass. I didn't make up my mind. Black Friday came. Uh, Saturday, Cyber Saturday, whatever. Saturday came. And I, there were so many things I wanted to do. I was looking at getting another uh, Shield Plus because the Shield Plus was going to be at Academy. It was going to be like after the 50% mail-in rebate. I mean, after 50%, after the 50% shit, I buy 10 of them. After the $50 mail-in rebate, after my 5% off for using my card and my 10% off after using um, my first responder military discount that they were offering, uh, it was like, yeah, like Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving. I could have got it in MP Shield for like 300 and something dollars. I mean, like 320, 325, something like that. So out the door, maybe 340. I don't know. Out the door, something like that. I could have got it for that. And I was like, man, I miss, I miss that compact. The stippling is compact. 13 plus one, 14 rounds. If I don't want to run it snug tight with ammo, I could just do the 13 and just let, you know, let them let them rounds breathe, you know, like Biggie said, don't feel them clips too high. Give them bullets room to breathe. All right. Uh, I could have just done it like that and done 13 and it just been it had been glorious. But I, I, I was and then I was going back and forth. I think I think the PB3. The uh, lead and steel optic was one hundred dollars off. I think it was two ninety nine during Black Friday. I was looking at that, too, but I just I was just indecisive. So, you know, like a dumbass, I ended up spending more. Um, what about the Sealy Bear? Uh, I put it, I actually mounted the Sealy Bear on this. You see, it's not on there anymore because uh, a Sealy, Sealy Bear, I, I don't have, I don't have anything else to say about that, man. Uh, it's just not, it's not for me. <laughs> it's just not for me, man. It's not for me, man. I, I, it's just not for me, man. So I don't know. I don't know. It was, yeah, I don't know. Leave a dollar. 
Leave a dollar. Love shooting. Venmo Cash F. Leave a buck. Leave me a buck. Uh, yeah, so uh, what else is going on? I'm just talking about what's going on. So I got the PB3 coming. We'll we'll see. I'm gonna put that on. The, I'm gonna put that on the 19. We'll see. And I'm thinking about. Uh, I ordered this. This I've had this for a minute. This is from BCM Lower. Somebody asked me if I had any ARs, and I hadn't talked about any rifles in a while. I do. I do have a, a BCM 16 inch. It's right here. Let me uh, let me back up a little bit so you can get all. Well, I guess you can't even get all that. But yeah, this is my BCM Recky. 16 inch got the I don't know I don't, I don't know you, you've seen it before whatever got the little cute mags because it reminds me of my time in the military got the uh who makes this riser um scalar works I like the scalar works around riser it just looks uh it just looked cool 1.93 got a hollow sig romeo 5 I thought I was gonna say hollison but sig romeo 5 is like 150 bucks good price I'm pretty you know I, the aim point thing, man. I don't know, man. Aim point is uh, uh clear. I'm knocking stuff all over. The aim point thing, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. Aim point T ones, T two, whichever one it is. Uh, I don't know if I want to go in like that. I think those are those are like six, seven, eight hundred dollars, something like that. I don't know. Argument to be made. I just got through watching a video on Range Day Bro site where he was talking about quality optics and spending money on quality optics. Dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not saying buy some sight mark shit, but you know, this this one feels pretty good to me. And uh I don't know if I want to do the six, seven hundred dollar optic thing. Maybe if I only had maybe if I just had one rifle and one handgun, maybe two. Then I would go all out with the optics, but um, which you know I might go in that direction. You know I'm constantly downsizing. I just sold my Hellcat, my Hellcat, and um, it felt good to get get that one out of the uh, out of the way. It just feels like I have a more manageable collection now. Like if the house is on fire, I can actually throw this shit in the bag and save all my pistols. Whereas before, I mean, it would have been my whole family would have been running out with with guns. <laughs> we left the damn dog. <laughs> so I don't know I don't know yeah so I do have this one I do have this BCM and I was thinking about uh, I got an old light got the light on here and um, the foregrip you know, eh, know you're running it backwards yeah I run it backwards on purpose because I like to pull it into me so you know keep your pants on there there ladies or actually you know ladies you can take those off <laughs> <laughs> so I bought the lower, another lower because, and I bought this a while ago and I was going to, uh, I was going to, um, man, I bought this in July and I told myself I was going to build another one. I was going to get a 14.5, uh, I was going to get a 14.5, what, what is the word? Barrel, barrel, jeez. I was gonna get a fourteen five barrel and uh, and do that, and um, I hadn't done it yet, and it's been uh, almost six months now, <laughs> and I still haven't done it. So maybe I'll let this uh, let this lower go and let somebody who actually is gonna do something with it do something with it, and then take that money and do something else. So I got this for like four hundred bucks, so I'll probably let it go for a little less than that to make it worth somebody's while. I don't know. I don't know. Well. This is what I've been carrying since it's cold outside. I've been running the 17. Let me see. Maybe I can get it in there. Oh, can't get it in there. Oh, I was trying to get it in there. All right. Yeah, so I hadn't... Uh, I've been running this 17. Running this 17 all uh, for the last couple days. And uh, since it's cold outside, I can... Definitely conceal that. And it's nice to have a 17. I mean, it's nice to have a 17 on me. That's not even... I love that. Love that feeling. Uh, all right. That's it. That's it. I'm, I'm waiting on that one. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. So about the 45. 
apparently, see, I didn't, I didn't even know this. I did not even know this. And I'm a little bit mad at some of y'all, man. I'm a little bit mad. I bought this. I got this slide from Dynamic Weapon Solution. And I've been talking about this 45 for like two fucking years now. Like a year now. Just slowly adding on stuff. The last thing was the barrel. And then I got a new dot. Uh, I ended up taking the dot off. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it back on. but Because uh, I, had, I had the 50C comp on there. And then what happened was this, this, the striker, the, the pin broke off. I think I still got it. It broke off. Here it is right here. And I was real upset and I was losing my faith in, in, uh, in this firearm. And I was like, man, I'm about to, I bought another one. I bought a new one and, uh, I put it together and I was about to just sell it. Cause you know, I, I don't really have a lot of, I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't know. I don't have a lot of uh, commitment with firearms. Once they, you know, fail me once, I'm trying to get that bitch out of there. You know, fool me once, that kind of thing. But here's what I didn't know. I didn't know there's a thing called a channel liner that goes right in here. And some people, you know, people say they've, you know, that's a common thing when you buy a a slide that's been cut. They'll take that channel liner out and then won't put another one in there, which is like, I don't know, fucked up. <laughs> but the channel liner uh, will take this. This will slide through the channel liner and it'll keep it in line so it strikes the round and it doesn't hit up against the inside of the frame or anything like that. So apparently there's no channel liner in here or it's a very thin one. Oh, but you know what? So I called, let me tell you this. So I called, I, I emailed um, after this, this just... Uh, assembly thing broke. The striker uh, pin assembly broke. I emailed Dynamic Weapon Solutions, right? I mean, I Facebooked them. And I mean, I Facebook. Shit, I can't even get my shit together. Get it together, Bobby! Alright, um, so I, I messaged him on Instagram and I said, yo, do you guys use OEM parts? Because number one thing people were saying was, you must have not been using OEM parts. So I email him and he says, he gives me a really weird answer in my opinion. He says, what was your order number? Did yours break? And I thought to myself, why don't you just say yes or no, motherfucker? Like, what, what is this? What is this shit? That's like if you ask your boyfriend or your girlfriend, like, you've been cheating on me? And they're like, what do you mean by cheating? <laughs> it's like, the fuck you mean? What do I mean? <laughs> what the fuck? Just say yes or no. And then he kept on going. He wasn't answering the question. I said, no, I'm, what I'm asking you is I bought a slide from you and I bought the internals package. It was like 90 something bucks. And what I'm trying to ask you is, do you use OEM factory parts for your internal kits? And he says, it depends on the order or something like that. Something like it depends on the order. Let me look your order up. So what I'm thinking is, if you send in your slide, if I were to send in my OEM slide, he would just take the parts and put them in from the old one and put them in. You know, he would just take the parts out, cut the slide up, and put the parts back in. Now you have OEM parts. But what happens when I buy a pre-cut slide for you, which is what I asked him, and I ordered the parts kit? So what I think, it, 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 what's possible is they cut the slides. I'm, I'm, my understanding is they use OEM slides that they cut. Maybe they don't, but my understanding is they, at least some of them they do. And then they put parts kits in there, and I don't know if they're factory or not, but they're probably not. Because the first one striker, uh, the first assembly I got from him, uh, this part was cracked. And I sent him a picture and he sent me another one. And then this part broke off. So I'm like, that's, you know, that's two in a row, homie. You know, this is my third one put in there. So I, I think I think Dynamic Weapon Solutions just doesn't put OEM internals in their slides. So, you know, just... It didn't seem, you know, to me, he would have just said, yeah, we use them most of the time or we use them some of the time or we just don't use them or this is where we use them. You know, just be transparent about what you're doing, you know, and I, I just didn't, that didn't leave me with a good feeling. That interaction didn't leave me with a good feeling. And I don't, I, he's probably not listening to me, my little stupid channel, but, you know, manufacturers and companies always are trying to defend themselves, which I understand you want to defend your reputation. But I mean, I, I think sometimes they do it to the point of lying. 
like just being dishonest. It's like, dude, just just answer my question. Do you use OEM parts? Yes or no? No, we don't always use them. Yes, we always use them. You know, because you know the answer I want is yes, you always fucking use them. But you know, of course, you know, and and he, know, he I don't know. I just I don't like that. So anyway, I ordered a channel liner from uh, Glock Store and a channel liner tool. Because it, it takes a special tool to get it in and out. Or, you know, I'm sure you could use whatever you want. But I just would rather get the tool for the job. So I ordered the tool. I'm going to, I'm going to, I think there's one in here, but it looks real thin. I can barely tell. So that's probably a, a, a El Cheapo one that he bought from somewhere else. I mean, it's just a piece of plastic. So I'm sure, you know, anybody could make it. But if it's not the same dimensions, then, you know, I may have issues. And, uh, you know, that's the whole point of the reliability. So. I don't know. I'm going to do that. I'm gonna, Once I get that, I'll replace that, and then I'll run it at the range and see how I feel about it. But it's uh, just too bad, man. This was, like, my favorite, you know, build. I really hurt that that wasn't running well. I mean, I put so much, so much into this, you know. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, so that's, that's that. What are y'all talking about? Let's see. What are y'all talking about? Hmm. See, it's been a while, so there's there's been some comments that have uh, built up over time. Let me see. Let me. I'll just get to a couple of them. I, I won't make this too long. Hmm. All right. Um. Pop. Pop pad 3585, face palm. I don't know what you're face palming to, but, uh, you know, you might be agreeing with me or face palming at something I'm face palming, or if you're face palming at me, I don't know. If you're face palming at something that I would face palm at, then, uh, you know, I appreciate you, brother. And if you're face palming at me, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Tomb Raider 7692, what up? That optic looked like some shit off Roblox. It looks like it came off a rifle. Man, imagine having that and still can't hit shit at the range. You would get clowned. Uh, what are we talking about? Are we talking about the... Uh, oh, the Sealy the Sealy Bear. Uh, the Sealy Bear. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess. I don't know if that's a personal comment. I don't know if you're talking about me, personally. Uh... TS, TCS Pyrex. What camera do you use? This is a uh, iPhone 13, I think. Yeah, the little small one. Uh, Brandon Sutton, 7471. That a good red dot. Okay, thanks. Nick Nelson, Rainers. Get an A-Rex Delta instead of the Taurus. Uh, I'm probably not going to get either one. Watch YouTube, 9553. Very original name, sir. I feel like these mailbox optics should be footprint specific. Look like they always need a plate. Why not just include all the plate footprints that it can fit size-wise? Well, the Sealy, that's one thing about the Sealy, or Sealy, it comes with uh, the plates. So that's nice. Uh, Marcus Powell, 9022. My Glock 19X is in police custody because a motherfucker had to find out. But I had a 47, and I'm thinking about getting a 19 or a 45. What do you think I should go with, Bobby? Uh, well, number one rack of applause for letting the motherfucker find out hopefully i'm assuming because you're on youtube and you're not in jail that you were uh you were right you were in the right so i'm uh, i'm happy about that uh if you want a, a 45 see i can't even show you your 45 you said 45 and i can't even show you because it's not assembled <laughs> oh. uh you have a 47 um I don't know if you you seem to be you seem to be successful with that 19x. I mean, you know, a motherfucker found out with that 19x, so maybe you should go with a 45. But you know, and it, then again, um, and you you obviously were carrying that one or, you know, whatever. So, I think uh, I think a 45 would be fine. Yeah. Um, but what's funny is you have a 47, which is like both. So you could actually just get a 19 slide, and now you've got. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, you can get a 19 slide, and now you've, you know, well, now you got a 17 and a 19, if you get a 19 slide. So, yeah, that's not the same. 
Although I think Glock just has a 40, I think they came out with a 49. I'm probably misquoting the number, but whatever. It's basically a 19 frame with a 17 slide. So that's nice. I'm sure that's a nice soft shooter. Should you get a 19 and a 45? You should get whichever one you want, man. I like 19s. Uh, you have a 47 and a 19, which you got those long grips. So, you know, I probably probably would go with 45. Emery Gyri YH2VCV. That looks like a password, bro. Uh, or young lady, Emery. Uh, get a PSA dagger. Yeah, I thought about it. We'll see. Andy Strong was no mix up. They just trying to get rid of those bullshits. <laughs> Seen a few other YouTubes reviewing them. Almost crashed after that fart. <laughs> I had gas, man. I had gas. Uh, don't crash, though, homie. I need you on this side, okay? We need you. Uh, yeah, it ain't no mix-up. They just trying to get him out of there. Uh, James302139. Why I gotta be a bitch, Bobby? I don't know. That's a good question. Why do you have to be a bitch? <laughs> I have a Blacksmith Tactical V2 holster for my 26 MOS coming in. It's taking forever. Laugh a lot. Yeah, I'm glad you got a good, good sense of humor, moment. You know, it's all love, man. You got a good sense of humor. I, I appreciate that, homie. Uh, at spin four by four, the Bears. Yeah, I don't know. Richard Pierre 9915. Hey, Bobby, could you show us some of your ARs if you have any? Yeah, that's who asked. Yeah, this is it. That's going to be the last question. Yeah, this is it, bro. This is the only one I got right now. I got this one, and I was working on a build. So uh, this is the BCM 16-inch, you know. Uh, Scale of Works, Romeo 5, BCM grip, flip backwards to give me a little pocket right there. I might even I might even chop that bitch. Uh, Odin light. Uh, it's an O-light. You know, people have their complaints about O-lights. I run the pressure pad up a little higher. This is my normal grip. I run the pressure pad up a little higher so I don't uh, have an accidental discharge with the light. So in order to activate the light, I have to reach up a little bit. I have to kind of come up a little bit with it. Bing! Uh, and that's it. Keep it keep it pretty slick, man. Keep it pretty slick. Clear. Yep, that's that BCM, buddy. And I was thinking about building a 14.5. about building a 14.5 with this lower it's the same exact lower because i like my shit to be the same consistent dress right dress oh so and i like that i like bcm's logo it makes me think about the 18 what you know about that what you know about that all right one more comment i lied Mavericks Mayhem. <laughs> What's up, homie? I'm going to leave 49 cents just to be petty. Hey, 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 don't do that. <laughs> By the way, I had a suggestion video on YouTube of a small channel about the Bull Optic. Thought it was funny since you didn't even want to have it. Assuming they sent out a few to get the name out. Yeah, that, that Bull Optic was some, uh, that, that Bull, that, uh, uh, get the new, the response Smith & Wesson or MMP FPC. Uh, nah, if I get a Smith & Wesson, it's going to be a Shield Plus, another one. Or the 2.0, another one. Another one. I said I was done. Let me get out of here. A regular gun guy. What's up, big homie? That's the big homie right there. Uh, love the channel, big dog, and you farted. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And don't act like you don't fart, okay? I know you're a big, you got a big channel now. You got tens of thousands of people, but don't act like, I see those cuts in your video. All right, I see those cuts. Don't act like you're not letting them rip down there in that basement. Letting them rip <laughs> and then cutting it later. Publish those outtakes. <laughs> quit quit editing that shit. Publish them outtakes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my that's the big homie, man. Uh regular gun guys a, a cool channel. Uh, probably most of y'all already know who he is, but uh he used to be a little guy and now he's not a little guy anymore and I'm, I couldn't be happier and I love seeing uh Love seeing people do well when they're pursuing whatever they're pursuing. You know, my uh, my little bullshit channel is going to stay my little bullshit channel because I'm not doing anything to uh, to grow it. But uh, you can leave a buck. OK, it's Christmas time. Don't be a Scrooge. Leave me a buck. But Bobby, you already have enough to buy a gun. Shut the fuck up and leave a buck. 
All right, man. Love y'all. I'll see y'all later, man. Talk to you later.